So this over here is Jay, in case you guys don't know. Where are you from, girl? I'm from Hawaii. Hawaii. And how do you find me? I actually found you on Facebook. Oh, you found me on Facebook? A lot of people say- I mean, no, no, excuse me. No, YouTube. It was YouTube. And I actually saw Pink Zebra on this app called Mercari. And I saw so much people selling sprinkles. And I'm like, what the heck is this sprinkles crap? Okay, let me look into it. So I Googled it. And then I YouTubed it and I found you on YouTube. I love that. See, and you see how like this company, you guys, I started with a girl in each state and I'm building up leaders. So right now with me building up leaders that Jay is this close, this close. And she is one of my strong players on my team that if I know, like I was gone for reunion and if I told some of the girls that they had questions to go ask Jay, she was there, she's helpful. Um, I don't know. What do you want to say about our team kind of as a whole? Like, it's not just mine. It's our team. Um, honestly, our team is freaking awesome. Like, I you can basically ask anybody. I mean, Tabitha, Candace, Sam, Jody. I mean, everybody is so forthcoming with information. It, I was tripping. I was like, holy smack. Everybody just responds. And I think it's like the best thing. I like, like our, if, I like our group. It's very anti- Mom, are you done? Anti, what do you want to call it? Mean? Anti-negative. Everybody's so positive. Yeah. That's the easy. vibe is unreal. I like it. And we all have like little kids that are minutes. jumping in our videos. And we <laughs> all relate to it. We're not mad at a mom for having a kid come in a video. We're, we don't do that. Like we all support each other in some way, shape, or form. And I truly, I, my team, I always say there's no Debbie Downers or negative Nancy's allowed. I can see all you guys. Oh, oh there. <laughs> oh, this is your two, both of you guys. This is like your first time Zooming. This is awesome. I love this, by the way. Yeah, so, it's so cool. I mean, it's just. I got the pepper, too. I know. I'm like, girl, look at your can. Look at my can. You got a can? <laughs> is that the llamas? Yeah. Oh. I call mine pop. What do you call you this? Do you call it soda? Or Coke. Dr. Pepper. I don't, no, see down here, it's like, hey, you want a Coke? What kind you want, Dr. Pepper? Hey, what do you call yours? <laughs> I call it, this, it's pop. What kind of pop do you want, Crystal? I want a Mountain Dew or a Dr. Pepper. Someone told me, like, what kind of Coke do you want? I don't want Coke. I want a pop. Like, no. And then somebody said when I was uh, in soda. Soda is the other one. So yeah, want? that's what we call it. It's called soda. Soda. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny how like all three of us have different ways of how we communicate over a pop? <laughs> That's okay. We say we're going to make groceries here. So it, you know, but it's, the it's, South is a whole new language. It's so much. I literally, you guys have no idea. And Jay, you are, I think are the first Hawaii ma are going to be Hawaii manager. Really? Nice. So bad. I so want this badly. Um, giving you a heads up because when I was given my huge speech, because I that room was packed. Did you guys see how big it was? First of all, I was scared. And they asked how I got somebody in Hawaii because I don't got anybody in Alaska or New Mexico. And they're like, How'd you get somebody in Hawaii? I said, She messaged me. I messaged her back. And she's like, You work quick. And it happened from there. And I. <laughs> And they're like, well, how's her team? And I was like, well, the joy of like joining is that like we build each other up to success. Like I can't succeed unless my team succeeds kind of too. Right. So there, it's not a, I don't want to say it's a pyramid scheme because you all, we all, we all make our own money a certain ways. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you mom. <laughs> but I think it's pretty cool that, all right, guy. I think it's pretty cool how we all can like build each other up. It doesn't matter if Jay's in Hawaii and she's got a girl in New York City. She can give just as right. experience or Candace can give just, you guys can, we all can share so much through social media itself because I can't meet up with you guys to have queso. I would love to, but I can't. And just in general, would you be able to meet up with somebody in your area to do that all the time? Look, I'm going to tell you right now, Samantha and I probably live 15 minutes away. I think I might have seen her twice in person ever. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. And we didn't know each other before this. I found her on Instagram. And what happened was she, we had mutual relatives who were married, but we never met, never even knew each other ever. Wow. That, I, I love this stuff, you guys. It shows a difference in people. And 
I mean, it sounds like corny and everything, but I always say like my girls, like they're, we have our family. And I know it sounds, really, I know it sounds really like corny with it, but like me and Jody met for the first time ever. I know Sky. Me and Jody met for the first time ever. And like the experience of actually seeing that person instead of on a screen, like I feel like a lot of you probably know my life. Or you're like, I know that one kid at Chris started, Jay, I know her kid does that. You know, Candace's kids in softball. We know each other as families and it's because we care. I think that's right. a huge, like, you don't just get a company, you get a friendship as well. Right, right. I like that. Right. But so my other thing is, so we kind of talked about the blood batches on the prior video and we talked about the catalog change. Mm -hmm. And then this one, we were just talking with Jay. Talk. We were talking about pop and how we're different. <laughs> I wish Carolina was on right now. You guys, she's so much fun. I'm glad she's yeah. back too. I'm so glad. She's Look, back. I was out for so long. I didn't even know she was gone. I felt terrible. <laughs> and it's Candice, it wasn't like you was even gone. I know. That's why she was like, her sales were there. And she's like, oh, I'm, I'm coming back. I was like, you left? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Oh well, I, mean, I, was at, I was at a different level and then when the kids softball schedule became so intense for June and July it's like I had enough time to just make my $400 sales and that was it but that, I felt like I didn't know anything else that was going on but that's still good getting that 400 I think is huge yeah like, that was the one thing I was like I gotta try making a point to at least get the 400 mm -hmm. yeah it, if you go over it it's a bonus for me right and football season's coming up in our family and that's huge Mm -hmm. So Candace, I'm gonna be like you. And you got, I, Jay, I'm so jealous. You got surfing and all that. I keep seeing your pictures, and I just, I like, like it. I was like, I want to be there. <laughs> My kids, they're water babies. In fact, they literally just got home from the beach. I think mm -hmm. that is amazing. I truly, truly love. Hey, what's that show? God, you remind me of it. Uh, Hawaii Five O. Is it Five -0? Hawaii Five O? <laughs> Is it? You know that's fake, right? <laughs> that's, how I think. that's how I see Hawaii. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's all fake. <laughs> that's how I see it, though. But the people and the family and the, you know, that's, it's not like a criminal. This, this, the I mean, that part, yes. Don't get me wrong. Everything here is Ohana, for real. It's all family. We do everything together. See, but I, the other stuff, yeah, though, no, that's all fake. The best thing that ain't happened. They got that taco truck? Yeah. No! <laughs> you know, there's food trucks, but not. I've never seen a taco truck. We got Taco Bell. We have taco trucks. <laughs> <laughs> I we thought real Mexican food was Taco Bell. I yeah. mean, over here, they, everything is surrounded by food. So if anytime you're having a get together or party, whatever, it's always, okay, well, we're eating. Like, what are we having to eat? Right. And they have food truck festivals here where they'll have a place and all these food trucks come together and you go to different food trucks and get food. <laughs> yeah. I'd be there. I'd be there. I would be there. But so, Jay, I guess, um, what else do you think about with like, being in pink zebra because you're kind of trash but you're not like, you and what are, is that well how else do you think like with pink zebra has it changed you in any way i mean candace is simply i know candace's why is simply because she was bored nobody you don't have to have a huge why on why you join Some yeah that was my biggest thing i mean i when i went to um rally in houston for january you know you you hear all these like really moving and you know nice stories of all why these people are in pink zebra and they have these big things and i'm like over here i just like smell good stuff <laughs> you know like there's no real reason it's just because i love it and that's why i do it that's my why so, um what's your thing with that girl so i didn't have well okay so my big why was oh i thought that was so cute let me just see what it's all about because i like my house smelling good because my house is central air Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that's so pretty. It's so colorful and it's little sprinkles. Okay, let me try to get girly and do some little sprinkles. And I had bought my kit and I set it up and I was sold. Because really, really, I was like, oh man, this looks fun. I can just buy this for myself. I don't have to do right. the business. It's just, it is what it is. And then when I shared it, when I shared it, everybody, my mom, my auntie, my cousins, they all liked it. So that's kind of how mm -hmm. primarily most of my sales was my family and a few of my friends. I mean, it does sell itself. It really does. Even my mom said that. And my mom, she was 
she's probably one of the hardest persons to get to jump on. And she mm. was sold. I was like, holy smokes, you're going to join? She was like, yeah, I really like this. Yes. And she jumped on. That's, yeah, I think that's pretty cool with it, that you the sprinkles, got, yeah, not- it's cool that the sprinkles do sell themselves too. Um, when I joined, my why was to do something to keep me busy yeah. because me with four kids, I wanted human adult interaction somehow and not speak to a three-year-old mm-hmm. all day. And that was pretty much my huge why, I guess, as well. And then finally a year into Pink Zebra, I found out I was like helping girls change their lives. I was making an impact on people. And that's where it kind of like threw me. I'm like, oh my God, I did that. I hate it. Last month was my worst month. And I just started in March and I'm like, oh my gosh, nothing's happening. And Crystal's voice in the back of my head was, don't give up. So I'm like, okay, I got to rock this crap. I'm not going to give up because then it's ho ho like yeah, you for nothing. Candace, let me tell you this. And Candace, I'm actually glad. I think everything happened for a reason. I'm glad Kate. Sorry. Yeah, I muted myself. Oh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I, I hit it. I moved my phone over and I clicked it. I'm glad Candace is on this video for the simple fact. Candace's team, she, how many people did you just have that was inactive girl? Or how many oh did you have on your team? Let me just ask you that. Okay. Active right now, I have three. But why have- Candace can kill it. <clears throat> I don't know how she does it. And that's why when we wait, she said she's coming back and me and you look like she has a lot. Me and Jared like, what, what are you talking about? Um, like fell off kind of. And she's trying to rebuild herself right now too. And Jay, if you would tell Candace how your team looks, Candace would take your team any day of the week. There's a lot of consultants that would take your team. Like, so she has a girl I put underneath her that ended up being a rock star at recruiting. It would keep, Kia, am I saying her name right? I, I butcher her name. Kiana. Yeah. Kiana. She, like, just recruited. I don't know what she hit the ground running with that. And she's, like, literally, she puts her $400 and then this girl's in the team. That's how, like, crazy she was at recruiting. And then yeah. she has Rhonda, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Is that your mom? Yeah. That's her mom. That's got people. And then, like, so she's almost close to manager position. Wow. And that's why I keep telling her, I was like, Jay, don't give up. Like, you don't know how close you are right now. Like, don't. Right. And yeah, so- that's what see me. And I can sell no problem, but I just can't recruit. And we all That's have- where I'm at now. I can't recruit anybody to save my own, you know. Right. Blessing girls, let me tell you something that I did learn. I am actually very well known for recruiting, obviously, but that's why you guys have an amazing upline like me that I'm able to help you guys. Um, Candace, I don't know if Sam told you, but I actually put somebody on your guys' front line right now. There's she did tell me that y'all were working on something last like night. Your, so, like, I want to build girls. And what I did, and this is why I had to finish my Pink Zebra year out how I started. So, for me to get that second place, I would have got first place on promotions. But I slipped up on a number, and it, it's okay. But what happened was I started the year where I was like, I'm going to build. I'm going to build these girls. Build, 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 build. Now I am only, I've recruited 10 girls this month, you guys. I am only, but listen, this is a good thing. About Wait, me. you said 10 people this month? It's the third. Right? Well, not this <laughs> month, last month. Last month, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm like, it's the third. No, last month, last month. So, so last month I raised, girl, boy, go. Girl, who you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, 10 people <laughs> last month and I said when I left reunion you need to stop that time when I left reunion last year I'm only placing girls under girls that I know hearts are in the business I can't just have you tell me you want to be somewhere if you're right. like I don't like my thing with it is if you're hard and you have that passion that I had I'm able do you know how many uplines do not move people oh truth, I'm sure truth be told For selfish reasons too didn't you just see the front line the top hundred was four people that promoted that's not greedy come on <laughs> I'm just saying so you're you're able for me as your leader and I don't feel superior than any of you girls Jess if you turn your phone sideways girl you'll get the long there you go um I don't feel that I'm more superior than anybody on this or do I want any of you to feel that way either with me so that's why when we are like so like during these video clips, like I'll put stuff out, put it on YouTube, and then I'll take it off. 
But what I've learned is when we do these YouTubes, nobody tells me. Nobody does because I want everybody to join because they like Jay's personality. They like Candace's kid. They can relate with soccer. They can relate with Jess somehow. You know, we. I want to build relations so that you guys can connect with the girls that you are bringing in. Right. That was huge. Right. That was really huge for me. And then again, me being me, I'm able to help you girls grow. Like Jess, I just got to EC. Jess did her thing to get there. She's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're a rowdy about a, a rowdy bunch. Just to let you know, be prepared. <laughs> but but like, we're freaking fun. We are. Just yeah. got to EC. Um, just how was it? Thirty days in. When did you get EC? Um, I think at right at two months. Okay, so but she hit it pretty quick. But you hit your quick starts. She was like just boom with it. She hit the ground running. And but she was having a little trouble with recruiting, and that's where like me being, mm. I could help her. So like I'm telling you girls, I've learned my lesson through last year. I fail and fail forward. Just think of the Will Smith I'm talking. I learned my lesson and I only move people know my backstory and like you would never have guessed like half the stuff. You'd be like, there's no way. Yes, there is. Like you, one day I'll share the whole story, but I believe I'm building other girls and empowering other females. And actually I'm not going to set you up for failure. That's not my mission here. I want to build girls and I'm not going to, if one of my girls is sitting there hanging, I want to make sure I'm picking her up mm -hmm. and moving forward. And it like, so Candace, I know, and Sam, Eric, Candace and Sam, their team, because Candace is Sam's, you see, yeah. So on their team, I have to build her, their team a little bit better now because with this whole inactive people coming out, I'm, I'm helping her. Maybe I put a rock star in her right now. I don't know. You never know with anybody and you can't right. force people to sell. But what I did learn, and there's some recruiting tips that like I was listening to this one girl and it's nice to hear it from somebody else saying it, that bring a friend in. They said that uh, get one, bring one. So you get a, or a sponsor, go tell your sponsor, be like, hey, um, is there a friend that you think would like to do this? So that if you have two girlfriends working together, you guys can blossom together. Yeah. Yeah. and then some people are like oh no you're the competition but you don't have the same friends I do you don't do the same stuff I do uh you don't have the same family you we all have different areas where we can actually market and get ping I want it to be that and if you've noticed social media wise you do see paid zebras out there now it makes us recruiting so much easier that we don't got what is a pink zebra we don't have to answer that question anymore yeah right and it's so much easier for that and just like so anytime you bring somebody in I mean encourage them to like if they have a friend or jc pennies right now perfect example and this is what i'm going to start doing girls i'm not even lying jc pennies just went out of business uh, and because of amazon these companies can't stay open and that's what colby was or tom was talking about so you go to those places what if you know they're going out of business and simply go to those sellers because they wouldn't sell they're salesy people they talk why don't you try to recruit them I mean, I'm just thinking outside the box for well, they that's kind of how they were talking with it. But so JC Penny just is going out of sale for us. So my butt's gonna be at the mall tomorrow with some samples and being like, girl, let me help you. I'm gonna give you you just freaked my kids out because you said JC Penny went out of business and they're like, What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here in our town. So if there's places that you see that you guys, simply the unemployment area, they would love for you just to put a basket there of sprinkles, give them that business opportunity. And know your wording choice. That is a huge thing when you're trying to bring girls on. Just don't be like, you should join my team. No, no. We all are given the same tools to succeed. And I'll tell you this really feel that I did become a direct girls success story. So now I'm able to give back to you girls. Well, I've been giving back since day one. But now I'm able to help again. If people are looking on my YouTube, I'm like, any of these girls that you see here, they're good girls. Join under them. They're gonna lead you, they're gonna help you, and they're not great people. I think if we pair up and you come together more and you share more, you know, I got a recruit. I got two new recruits this month. They told me they never saw, they never saw a direct sales company have four girls on a screen sharing to have each, you know, if somebody wants to join right. them. Because a lot of people are like, well, you're my competition, so we can't do that. But that's why I did the 50 states of pink, you guys, because I didn't want, I didn't want people to be viewed that way. So, yeah, you can get somebody in one area. 
Well, we got Canada now, so <laughs> I don't want one like that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get you all a Hawaii one. Yes, <laughs> please. please. Have all little <laughs> islands. <laughs> You're like, oh no! <laughs> no <laughs> but that's the cool or a thing. taco truck. <laughs> Hawaii 5.0 or something on it. Watch, I will get no, don't. I could get that at Walmart. Keep your soda. Because we all can learn through social media. Like, honestly, you guys probably have more hands on communication with me than how other people do with their team that are in the right. same area. Like, they won't help give them tips and tricks with stuff. Like, you know, we're all willing to share a graphic. Like here, you don't know how to do it. Well, Sam can do this one or Crystal can do that one. And right. we're doing it because we're not each other's competition. Because you're not in the same area as me. Like, so I, I mean, mean, like I said, Sam lives 15, 10 minutes from my house and we are not in the same circle. I signed on a friend of mine who, you know, we are at the ballpark together all the time. She has a whole set of customers that don't even touch mine. There's enough people in the world to share. <laughs> it's just, there's so many to do different things on YouTube as well. Like, so I, when I get on something, I'm such a computer geek that I have to master it or it'll bug me. It's like, I got to like make sure I know how to do it all right. And the cool thing with it is I'm going to be able to teach and train you guys. Do you know how many people would love to sit down and have this one-on-one -on -one talk with me in the company? That they're not on my team, but I helped them. I gave them things. I showed, I started a YouTube channel for them right there. And I didn't even have to talk. It was me showing and it was, we were communicating that way still. So you guys can make a difference in people's lives. I promise you. Just be in a nice way. Right. Be, be nice. Be, be you. And that's why I always tell people my team or our team, I hate saying my, our team, literally the success rate is because of how genuine we are. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So Jess, do you have anything you want to like talk about anything at all? Mm, not really. I'm just trying to figure everything out from being on that break and the new stuff. I'm still pretty new, so I'm still, this is my first DS anything. And it's just kind of. How long have you been in the college? Um, since May 10th. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not long. Rocking at you guys. Jay, how long have you been in it? In March. March 3rd. Candace? Um, I started the very end of August last year. Right around the end. Are you guys, you guys, this incentive trip, I'm not lying, this incentive trip, you guys can earn. If I could earn it my first six months in the company, you can. So I have totally to pushing for it. I have the tracker for it and everything. I'm, I want you girls to succeed in this. I truly do. <laughs> I need to print that. Me too. Um, I printed mine and I should show you last year's. Funny because I scribbled out stuff like don't write it in pen. Write it in pencil. Yeah, pencil. Mm -hmm. Another cool thing, like, everybody has their different success stories and their time in the company. And keep in mind, my two years is August 12th. Ooh. That's August, coming up. It's coming up. And get this. And I was what number two in both those categories. So the success is there. It's just I'm training my team more on how to get out there. Mm -hmm. And I want you guys to succeed. Like Candace kills it every time with her sales. Where my sales are, they used to be that big, but since I started getting a big team, some of my time got training you girls, helping you girls kind of pulled away. Right. But once you start like, and I'm sure any of you girls that are leading, you you guys leading just in general, you know how it takes time out. Right. And I have I have four one, little ones I have to entertain too. But yeah, I don't know. I'm glad this company has actually made a difference in my life like I hope it has in yours. I guess just before we end the video, is there any, like, why did you join? Um, I was just looking for something basically to do while I was at home and earn some extra money. So that, I have two little ones, a five-year-old and a one-year-old, and I was just kind of needing something for myself to do. And that's why I joined. And then I saw your video on YouTube and I'm like, okay, I have to try. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna respond. I really didn't. I but me too. I was I know. And I was like, oh, she responded. Exactly. <laughs> I know. I was super shocked. I'm like, okay. You guys are so funny. No, but it was exciting. Jess doesn't even have a story like you. Make it then. She doesn't, you said? 
he doesn't have a story. Just yeah, like, no. I mean, there's no big. Oh, I was in the hospital. I needed something to bring me out of it. There was nothing that I thought. I just and it's wanted. fine. That's yeah. That's if you don't have a why like that, don't think that you have to have it. Right. Your why will change while you come in the company. So my why is now I want to empower you girls. I want to build leaders up. I want to build moms that actually can stay at home and enjoy this monkey that's behind her. I want to build more of me. I want to make more duplicated people like me to help share some petty success and go. I don't know why he's my one that's you. Sky, can you practice your YouTube video with me? Sit right here, do it. Oh, hi. Come here, please, because people oh, love you. I want to see it. Maybe they want to see it. Come here. So if you have kids, train them. Jess, pay attention. Come here. Come here. You want to be, are you YouTube famous or no? And even like, all right, now, all right, how do we introduce ourselves? Because these girls don't know how to do it. You've got to try. Okay. It. Okay, ready? All right, ready? One, or three, two, one. Hello, guys. It's me, Tyler and Mom. What are we doing today? Uh, we're some paying zebra. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what else do you, what do you tell people? How do you get them to follow you? Oh, we show them it. No, but what do you say? Yeah. The, what's that? Comment down below. Comment down below on what? <laughs> what do you have to do to comment to subscribe? Subscribe to our channels. <laughs> you don't. I'm telling you, this is perfect. My daughter just told me when you have your YouTube video, oh. we're going to be the best team. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And that's why, you know, little ones, people are always like, shh, quiet, like, ah. right. we can, I think us as parents, okay. we can drown that sound out. Yeah. Unless they scream, and then we got we to check okay. it out. But we, I don't know. I love it, and I love that. Thanks in Hawaii. I hope I made the, the first manager, Jay. I'm, like, crossing my fingers. Oh, yeah, don't do it. Me, too. I'm hoping you're the first one. I want to build leaders. It's not just the number. I want to build leaders in those okay. states. I'm okay. Sorry, you are. But do any of you girls want to? I'm going to end the video. So when I end the video, <laughs> oh my hell. People like real stuff. Like, you don't want somebody fake. Mm -hmm. Right. Because then it just seems very scripted and unreal. That's mm -hmm. what I like. I said, there's my girl. Ooh, my girl. <laughs> talk about the Hawaii and the pop. That's funny. Like, relatable, too. They're like, look at these girls. They're fine. I want people to see that. So before, yeah, so again, um, I hope you enjoy our videos. We're a very entertaining team. We're all, I mean, we still are probably gonna argue about pop soda, but we still, we come together. So I'm Crystal Kelly. And if there's any other girls that you see in this video that you wanna join under, message one of them. And I promise you, they will lead you to success too. So girls wanna say your names? Yeah. I'm Candace and I'm from Louisiana. I'm Jay Shay from Hawaii with this messy hair. <laughs> and I'm Jessica Carpenter and I'm from Kansas. And I love this. Can we get our the street? <laughs> oh, um, the cool thing with you guys is seriously, like once you student are start doing this, I want to get your girls your confidence level up. And I will. I will. It'll give me a little bit, but I will get it up. Mm -hmm. Little by little. <laughs> But no, again, I hope, seriously, like when I do these, if you can jump on, jump on them and show your personality. People like that. Jay, I think you're cool. Like, I love you, man, just because you're in Hawaii. Like, I, any, that's like vacations for us. Like, we think that's- I still got our conversation from yesterday in my head. You should have saw me sitting in my car. I was like, oh my God, I got to call her. <laughs> um, it's black. What's going on? <laughs> Place she called, but so you guys, I do. I I want to start doing more of these with the team, and so if people didn't want to join me because maybe they felt I was too young, then maybe they'd see one of you guys, or maybe because I had tattoos they didn't like me, then one of you guys can help them. I think that's huge. 